In today's video I will teach you everything you need to know to run any large language model locally for free. To do this we will use Ulama, a free open source tool which helps you run any LLM locally, free and especially private. I will show you every step you need to do to set this up and get this running on your own PC. Then I will show you how to insta and connect the open web UI so you can use it exactly like you would ChatGPT in your browser. And as an extra bonus at the end I will give you an overview on how to direct use the Olama API in your code. Hello and welcome back to Hardwired. My name is Pascal and I create videos that cut through the noise of AI and coding. To get started we first need to navigate to the official Olama website which you can find under olama.com. You can simply press on download and then choose the operating system you are using. The download is finished so let's double click it and start the installation process. Now press the install button and go make yourself a cup of tea. This will take a while. When the installation is finished you have two ways to check if Ulama was installed correctly. The first one is to open a new comment prompt and just enter the words Ulama. If this shows you a list of comments you can use, you have successfully installed Ulama. The second one is to simply search for Ulama in your programs. If you already clicked on the Ulama app and are wondering why nothing's happening, you can check your system tray where you can now see the Ulama logo. To install the open web UI, you need to have Python installed. To do this, let's go back to the browser and navigate to python.org. Now click on downloads and choose your operating system. The creators of open web UI recommend using the version 3.11, so we will download this one. Now run the downloaded installer and make sure to add Python to path. Now you have time for a second cup of tea, because again, this will take a while. Let's check if everything works. Open up a new comment prompt and type Python dash uppercase v. This should show you the installed version of Python. Awesome! Let's now install the open web UI. For this, you just need to enter the common pip install open web UI, which installs the Python package automatically for us. When the installation is done, you now have two options to run the app. Either every time you want to start it, you open up a comment prompt and enter open web UI serve, or we create a file which will do this for us. Let's create a new file on our desktop and call it openwebui.bat. Right click and press edit. Now write add echo of openwebui serve. Don't forget to save the file. If you now double click your newly created file, this will automatically start the open web UI for you. To actually use it, you need to open up your browser again and navigate to localhost 8080. Open Web UI will prompt you to create your admin account. Congratulations! You successfully installed Open Web UI. Now, let's take a look how we can download models. Because we set everything up with Olama, let's navigate back to olama.com. Then click on models. Here you can choose from thousands of models. Let's start with Llama 3.2. I will choose the 1B version. Now I just copy the name, head back to the Open Web UI and press on Pull from Olama. This will automatically download the model for us. After the download is complete, let's select our model for the chat. I'm gonna say hello to Lama. Perfect. Everything seems to work. Let's ask it to write a poem about AI. Game begin. Last but not least, let's take a look at how we use the Olama API in our Python code. For this you need to have the Olama packet installed. Just use pip install Olama. At first we need to import Olama. Next we call olama.chat and save it as our response. To figure out the name of our model and which models we have available, we can just open the comment prompt and enter Olama list. Now we're defining an array of messages to send to the LLM. Each message needs to be an object. For the role we're gonna choose user. And for the content we're gonna ask Lama about YouTube. To see the response, let's print it and get the message and from the message the content. If we now run our Python script, we can see we get an answer from the LLM. Pretty awesome, right? Now let's also take a look at how we can use another model. To do this, just head back to olama.com and pick any other model you want to use. I'm going to pick a distilled version of DeepSeek R1. Then copy the displayed comment and paste it into your comment prompt. After the model is downloaded, we can now use it in our code. Let's change the used model to DeepSeek and also set stream to true. 
I also want to add an option for the temperature. I'm doing this by passing an object to the options parameter. To actually see our message being streamed in the console, we need to loop over it and set two extra parameters. Let's try it. How cool is that? Our model is now streaming the response and we can see the think tags of DeepSeek. So that's it for this video. If it was helpful for you, please consider liking and subscribing. It helps out a lot. If you have any questions or tips, feel free to leave a comment. And as always, I hope you enjoyed watching the video and tschüssi.